Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Place Cuphead. I'm pretty sure I accidentally fought this guy on simple difficulty. <laughs> my mistake. Oh yeah, that's right, my mistake. Oh no, people called me out of my master plan. No, it's uh... I'll fight him again. I don't know if I fight... Because I've gotten... Here's the thing. I asked people in our Skype group, and I was like, I got one star skill level on defeating this one enemy. Um, does that mean that I beat it on easy difficulty or simple difficulty by accident? And everybody said, I don't know, because I've always gotten two on everything. And I was like, me too. So you can see where I was confused in the overall situation. I mean, this doesn't seem any harder, though. The skill level is just to do with whether it's simple or regular, right? It's not to do with, uh... Ooh, I don't want to jump through that bottle cap. It's a good time to pop that, I think. It's not to do with whether it's, uh... With, with like, your actual performance on the, on the boss fight, I think. But uh, to be honest with you, this guy doesn't seem any more difficult than the last time we faced him, so I might just be fighting him again for no reason. But, you know, there's always a reason, and the reason is, it's fun. Ooh, a little no thank you, sir. Don't think I've forgotten. It's been a day for you, but only mere minutes for me. I don't like that move. Another no thank you, sir. Don't mind if I do. Thought I told you no thank you, sir. I'm not buying what you're selling. Now, I'll be very confused if I get, uh... If I get one star this time. Because I've definitely... No, thank you, sir. I've definitely gone to regular on this one. That was, like, even easier. That might have been even faster, to be honest with you. But it didn't, it didn't seem... I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I misread it. I mean, problem solved. Either way. I really didn't expect to do it first try, but here we are. Alright. That boss is dead the normal way. What else we got going on here? We, we don't have much, actually, in World 3. We got two levels left. I know one of them is this... Not this boat, but there's like a little beach level. It's the running gun. Saw about 15 seconds of Cory playing this the other day. I know that there are angry crabs. And that's all I know. There's also flying fish, apparently. What happens if you stand on it? Nothing at all. Little piranha plants. Don't even start with me. This is Super Mario World all over again. Baby mode. This is Baby City right here. By the way, I missed the charge shot. No! Not on my watch. I missed the charge shot. I think I'll go back to it. The regular shot just isn't doing it uh, for me anymore. I'm using spread for everything. And I think on the run and gun levels, charge is like infinity out of 10. Oh no! I was supposed to wait and then catch that uh, flying fish and use that to generate the, uh, whoa! Use that to generate the coin for myself, I believe. Hello, Mr. Lobster. Oh, you shoot lightning bolts as well, huh? Now that, I was unaware of. Stop with the lightning, Mr. Lobster Man, Colin Farrell. Rachel Vice. I don't trust these. Trust these about as far as I can freaking throw them. You're like almost done? I don't know, regular gun? Doesn't seem too bad here. I'd much rather have the charge, I think. We can always change that. I mean, my thinking basically at present is, uh,. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And the charge seems to be working out... Sorry, the uh, spread seems to be working out okay. Shouldn't have done that, but I really wanted the coin. Okay, really shouldn't have done that one. I do, I will say, at the risk of making myself look like a darn fool, my experience is that the running gun levels, not the height of difficulty in this game. Is that the coin we missed last time? Absolutely fair. So we're gonna exit the map really quickly. Uh, I don't believe we need the auto parry. I like the smoke dash. I think alternating between those has been good. Oh, you know what? We need to go charge homing, dude. It's been forever. 
Charge homing is like, it's a strategy that's worked for us long term. Anyone that's leaning on the homing, by the way, don't let me tell you how to live your life. However, I think if you're leaning on the homing, you're missing out on, the, on some opportunities here, dude, because the charge shot is so, so good at killing things. Wow, you don't even need to dash for that one. The charge shot is so, so good for killing things. It'll destroy basically any enemy it touches. Including that one right there, unfortunately, that we might have wanted to parry. You know what? Great shot on your part. Great job. You did it. You did good work. Hello, Mr. Lobster Man. I don't like you. Charge shot. It's got its own finickiness. I'm I'm a little upset because I I was waiting for Lobster Man to show up. He he chose not to show up, and I was like, okay, Lobster Man must be dead. And then 10 seconds later, he was like, nah, surprise. Parry, please. Parry fish. Not doing that. Not tilted. I know you, those of you who thought, NL, you're going to get so tilted at this game. You're getting scared now because you're like, he's almost at the end. And he's untilted. I'm not untilted. That's a common misconception. I'm on tilt a bull. I am representing mankind's power. To not... I was expecting them to drift down to the ground like Super Mario would. Um, mankind's power to not lose their humanity in the face of a dang old digital video game from the year 2017. I cannot be tilted. That's my secret. Now, this lobster man, gotta be honest, he's not my favorite lobster man on the planet. I deserve that. I deserve that one. You might want to switch to spread to take out the stars, but honestly, it's the first time the stars have ever been a problem. We also took some damage doing dumb stuff right there, so I'm not going to read too much into that one. Now, you gotta watch out for those. See, those, they do not drift. Should've just taken the parry, but that's fine. Still in this. Little scuttle from the crab boys. That's fine, it's worth it for the coin. Honestly, like the game doesn't know what it just got itself into because I am gonna get something amazing with that one remaining coin that we just picked up. They're not even gonna know what hit them. Wish we didn't have to sit there. Ooh. Okay, come on, 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 come on. We're gonna have to dodge him again. Almost. Your boy almost ascended. Okay. Now this part, I don't even know if we should shoot through this part. Ooh, I hit X to, <laughs> to try to shoot instead of A to parry. We had the dream. And we let it slip away. Gotta get those parries. Gotta get those parries, dude. I was not brought into this world to get one parry. I was not brought into this world to get two parries. I was brought into this world to parry three times, sometimes even four. You're not even getting a bonus for that, but we do it anyway. Not because it is easy, but because it is hard. John F. Kennedy, look it up. One of the greatest prime ministers Canada's ever had. Can't get me. I'm ungettable. Does he not hit us with his claws? Like, seems like I'm overestimating the claw impact. I'm not even trying to murder him. I'm just trying to keep myself relatively safe. He's going down. He didn't go down? I thought that's where he goes down. Oh, silly. Oh, my Lanta. Hands cramping up a little bit. Excuses, that's... Those aren't what I pedal. I don't pedal excuses. I pedal bicycles. Which is a method of transportation. Excuses 
are a method of shirking responsibility. Unless your dog really did eat your homework. In which case, it's 2017, my dude. Would your dog digest the whole laptop? I feel for that dog. You should have been supervising both the dog and your laptop more closely. It's just irresponsible pet and technology ownership. That's the part that cheeses me. Kills all my momentum there. Come on. Oh, <laughs> your boy just got extremely lucky. Get slain, get slain. He's down, he's down for the count. All right, here we are. San Francisco Pier. For the world travelers amongst you, you'll know it's called Pier 1 Imports. Oh, we can stand on that. But what happens? Ah! Stop with the krill! Okay, okay, no, no, no. You just, if you ride that crack into the exit, we're set. We're actually golden. I think the key with charge shot. <laughs> I said it so weird. The key with charge shot. You keep it as like a mutually assured destruction. The charge shot loses its power when you fire it. While you're holding a full charge, no enemy will dare to mess with you. It's only when you fire it that it loses its power. Anyone riding those crabs? Stop. You're wasting your life. You're gonna say, I don't know why NL has so much trouble with that little section right there. You know what? Neither do I. I wish I did. Okay. Homing shots, but aim at the things that are coming to get you. Whoa! Okay, bar none, hardest running gun level. I'll, I'll cop. When I saw Corey playing it last night, I was like, I don't need to see anymore. This is easy mode. He was dying over and over, and I was like, see, that's what happens. You come on Twitch TV, you think what we do is easy. It's not easy. It's the hardest job on planet Earth, and I'm not being ironic. Not in the least. No, I don't ride the crabs. I take private jets. How that worked is kind of beyond me. Riding the crabs, that's for, you know, Johnny come rat race. Just dodge this lightning bolt, please. Look at that, like it's so easy. Problem solved. Look at that, full HP. Ooh, excuse me, sir. This part should be the easiest thing in the world until you land on the parry. Bad. This is a spread time. That hurts. What do you. Yes, I know, I missed the coin. What does a what does a boy do? What does a boy do in that situation except have have more HP? I'm missing the the keys to the kingdom right there. Maybe try something different. Probably a good idea. Okay, good, 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 good. There's no salt. There's no salt. I, Mrs. Dash, maybe. Sodium reduced Mrs. Dash, the slightest little bit. And I do mean the slightest little bit. I'm talking half a serving. Not even enough to 
kick up the insulin. Not even enough to pump, pump the jam, pump it up while your feet are stumping. Do not buy bread at Moldenhauer Dock. It's German for it's gone bad already. Okay, we in this. So I think you gotta watch this thing and see like when it turns pink. When it turns pink, you gotta smack it so that it stays up. Otherwise it, oh, it crashes into the icebergs. Daddy finally understands. Doesn't matter. Actually doesn't matter. Because we've now figured it out. 16 minutes into the episode, we got it. Well, keep in mind, we also did defeat that boss. <laughs> I don't want to brag, but he was pretty tough. Wow, have I ever been more audacious and then immediately rebuked. I think I got a career ahead of me as a... Cuphead musician, working in the Cuphead Orchestra. Fish me, fish me. Wow! Not like that. Wow! I got a crab three times. Next time, I think I'll just get the freaking lobster, dude. This is, it's the first time I've actually been embarrassed about my Cuphead play since like episode two. In episode two, I was like, I should be doing better than this. Okay, I'll go for the freaking dash, you got me. In episode two, I was like, I'll be better than this. To be honest with you, I've had a lot of prideful moments in Cuphead so far. It's the first time in a long time in this series where I've actually been like, we're doing like garbage tier right now. That was really good actually. Our timing was was exceptional there. I think this lobster man, he tries to trick you. A lobster man goes like, hey, watch out for me. I'm a man who's a lobster. I shoot lightning bolts, aren't you afraid? The answer is you have nothing to fear but fear itself. Another John F. Kennedy quote. That might be FDR. Okay, weapon switch. And you parry this boy. I'm gonna parry him anyway. Mm, parry that squid. Mollusca family. Parry that squid. Mm, get the coin you can pay. I think that this is actually Spread City. We're gonna make it. Yep. Uh, that's, I think that's better for Spread Shop than it is for Homing Shop. But problem solved. That level should not have taken as long as it did. Come on. We got three coins, four coins. Zero parries? Pardon me! Um, I parried all the fish. What, pink fish don't count as parries? It's a turtle. Hello, turtle. You boys think your situation is a multicolor mess, don't you? But what if I told you there was a way to see it in shades of gray? A way that only a pacifist platformer would be able to perceive? Would you violent little mugs believe me if I told you that? I wonder. Wait, there's a pacifist way to complete the levels? I'd be surprised, good sir. High seas hijinks on the Calamaria. On the Calamari of... Oh, this is one that many people have complained about. Uh, Mermaid Boss. A lot of people have suggested Mermaid Boss. Very difficult. Whoa, okay, yeah. I see your point on that attack. It was not, not annoying. Blowfish. I'm trying to hit the parryable ones. Just to see what it does, even. Buoys? Whoa! 
I'm assuming, yeah, yeah, okay, no, 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 don't sweat it. it. It looks harder than it is right now. This phase, I'm not saying the whole thing's easy, but um, this boss I don't think is as tough as I'm making it out to be right now. What's this? She's come back with a fish. The fish is gonna shoot p things that I can parry. Whoa, okay. Don't say gross things about this mermaid lady, please. I'll be very upset with you. She's just an honest woman putting in a day's work. She didn't sign up to be objectified by the likes of you or me. Okay. So I, I think that just messes up our trajectory. And also apparently our frame rate. Get out of here, cyber dolphin. Absolute worth. That hurts. We should have dodged that better. We gotta be almost through phase one here, though. Electric eels, huh? She's been shocked. Saw the inside of her rib cage. Whoa! Medusa, mermaid. -a. Ooh, I wanna take you to the end of your lifespan so I can go. Okay, what are we gonna do about that, dude? What are we gonna do about that? It's a wonderful question. We did make it like roughly halfway through the fight though, so I'm like, I'm not sweating it too much as of the present moment. We do have bombs. I always forget about the bomb situation. A lot of stuff to dodge here. So this, I think, is actually when you use your super. If it hits, great. If it doesn't hit, it's it's borderline giving you some invincibility. She's dusted. She's dusted. Get out of here. She's dusted. No, I, I'm, I like this attack. Do more of this, please. Homer! Yeah, that was bad. That's alright. What are we gonna do? We're gonna get super. She does her stone thing. We're gonna use our bomb. She did it so fast. Oh, she's outsmarted me. We completed stage two. Oh, I'm very afraid of this. Played a lot of this Flash game as a youngster. Just stay cool. No getting out of that one. That's okay. Uh, actually, we beat her, so... Turns out, screw you, Mermaid Boss is actually easy as heck. I've never been less afraid of a boss in my life. One minute, 40 seconds. Skill level, I like it. Super meter, zero out of six? Pardon me? Pardon me, Ruka? Zero out of six? I mean, I use the super. I don't understand the problem here. So we should be done with World 3, except for maybe the final boss of World 3? We filled out the whole list, I think. Oh, no, we're just done with World 3. All right. Well, forgive me this, but as we're about to enter the game's finale, I think this would be as good a time any, as any to uh, stop the episode and say, hey, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.